So this is Asteroids on a RetroPie image. And you can see right here, my joystick is left, right to move it. And I'm gonna try to switch it to buttons. Not only that, I'm gonna switch it where the buttons make sense. Because right now, this button is to make the ship disappear. So these right here, the last two, I guess that's my L and R, do nothing, but I don't want L to turn left, R to turn left, right? I'd like it to be something like this, L, R, where it makes more sense. This is a left or right, not like an up down. So let's see if I can do that. And I'm gonna try to do this all through RetroArt. So you press your hotkey and A or B, whatever you have set up on your on your particular arcade. So we'll go to controls. Press A to get in, port one controls. So right now, left I have set to joystick left, of course. Right I have set to, see it's D-pad right to joystick right. So let me go down to where I have my triggers right here. This is L trigger, R trigger. And I'm gonna set that to joystick left. And I'm gonna set this to joystick right. Now I'm gonna press the hotkey and my uh, B button again. And this is gonna be a test before I save it. So let's see if that worked. See that? Left, right, I'm pressing the buttons, now you have to trust me. And I still have the uh, controller set too, so I can use either or now, buttons or controller. Now, we said though that we wanted, actually what my B button was, that's my disappear button. No, I, you know what, let me go back real quick. See what this button is. That's my flight button. So, the only way to kind of do this is to play with it. So let's say we want to find out what button one is. We'll just do that. We'll go here. Now, which button am I missing? My disappear is still here. So button one was my shoot. My trigger. So I can put it back. Oops. Button one. Just test it again. Yep. So now I'll go back again. We want to keep that one. And I like where that is. Let's see what button two is. There's one button here that's not mapped to anything, which is a good button to reuse. So let's see what that is. It's my thrust. So actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my thrust to just go back let's change the thrust because that's the button I wanted to joystick left so now I have the bottom left and right is set and now I just have to set a new one for thrust which was button 2 so let's just see what button 4 does I have a shoe I'm turning left and right where I want to on the bottom I'm gonna turn, I know what it is now. I'm gonna, ch I'm gonna swap out that joystick left button um, over here, the trigger joystick left for button two, which was my thrust. And let's see, there we go. Now all my buttons are mapped where I want them to be and exactly where they make sense. So let me go back in.
and I'm pressing the B button to go back. A button's to get in, B button will be to go back. So I went back and I'm gonna write save game remap file. If you write save core remap file, it'll save this setting for everything um, that this emulator runs. So unless you wanna do that, just go here, save game remap file, click A, remap file saved. Let's get back out. And here's another way to go back to the game. Just press B again to come out and just A, resume. And now we have our controls. This is how you would do it through RetroArch. Somebody asked if you can set up some of the controls to work on joystick one and joystick two or player one and player two. So he wants to use some buttons from player one, some buttons for player two, like a long control panel. Um, I've done that before with my PC for different games. I actually emulated like a PlayStation controller with all the different joysticks and buttons, left analog, right analog. That's a different setup. You cannot do that with RetroArch as far as I know. I haven't figured out a way. I don't even see a way. But you can do that, I think, through the main menu. And I'm going to try that next. So this is a different setup. This is running um, Batocera, which is... Uh, similar to a uh, recall box but a more intuitive more updated version so i think it's the same with recall box where where you're you'll uh scroll to the game you want and you'll hold down b and it'll open this menu where you have some options and here you can it won't look exactly like this if you have recall box but you will see something where you can change the emulator so if a game doesn't work which on this one none of the arcade games seem to work on regular MAME and a lot of them are set to MAME so I went through every game and I changed it to either 139 or MAME 078 plus um, depending on what emulator you have you can plug a keyboard in and press tab and that should open up the main menu once that happens you can uh, do a lot of edits to the actual game without retro art where if a button just doesn't exist, let's say a gas button doesn't exist in pole position, which is which is the, the true real life case of pole position one and two on any of these um, images, they have no gas button or brake either. So you'll go into the main menu and you have to create one and then you can go to RetroArch and you can put that button anywhere you want once it's created. But if it's not created, it doesn't matter what you do in RetroArch, the button just doesn't exist. Um, so let's go to, I believe this is the proper emulator to run this game. So uh, let's get out of here. Let's go back. Oops. And let's um, start the game. So I actually already saved the remap file and I went into tab and I messed with it and I made a different video and I want to try something. I might add that video. Um, so with this meme, with this version, you have the RetroArch menu. What you'll do is you'll go into RetroArch by pressing your hotkey and B and we'll go into options from options we'll go into input and then you'll need to sorry not input we'll go into system and you'll do display main menu see it's off we'll click B turn it into on Click A to go back. And then let's get out of RetroArch. And here we go. Here's our menu. So input this game. We'll click B. Sorry, and this you click A. So you can try different things. And your buttons might be flipped. So it might be your A button where I'm saying B. But you'll get it. Press one. If it doesn't work, press the other. So here are our buttons button three, button one, 
coin, start. Some of these are already set, so you don't need to mess with them. And if you do by accident, you can just reset it to your buttons. So we're worried about, we're thinking about right and left here. Um, right here, I can see we have it set to the joystick. I reset them once to buttons and um, and it took, and then when I messed around with RetroArch, I came back and it, it uh, just wouldn't work again for some reason. So these images are known, some of them to be glitchy. So if it, if it glitches out, um, there's not much you can do. Try something different or just leave it alone for a while and sometimes it'll start working again, like power off, do something else for a while, play it, wait a week, come back to it. Um, most times it does work, but uh, sometimes weird stuff happens, it glitches out and just leave it alone. Don't drive yourself crazy because it's probably not you, it's, it's the image. Um, these are large files saved on little SD cards that were, you know, meant for storing pictures on cameras. So I'm amazed that they can do this. Um, okay, so let's try something. We're going to go to player one right, and we're going to click on it, the A button. So that's basically the enter button. If you were using the keyboard and you click tab to get into MAME on a different emulator, if you didn't need to do this, then you can use a keyboard for this even as well. You'll just press enter. You press enter and it'll give you the option to put in, you know, press a button for the controller, press left on uh, the joystick. If some reason you press it wrong, press it a couple of times, um, just press delete and enter or delete escape and enter or keep clicking A until it finally disappears and eventually it will. So, um, that person asked, if you can set buttons on the player two controller or the player three or the player four. So let's try. I'm gonna just click on button B right now on my player two. There we go. Button B player two. That's not even what I wanted because we wanted the right to be on player one. So let's see, I'm gonna hold it again. I'm gonna press. See, for some reason, it doesn't like these buttons. I did something last time where it like disqualify these two buttons I'm using. But anyway, that's fine because um, we'll use a different button. So let's use, oh, you see that it clicked both buttons. So now I gotta get rid of that. So let's hold it again. We don't want that. Do it again. We'll do it till it kind of erases itself. I'm using my buttons to enter this so I don't have a delete. And let me see, I might have a delete button. Oh, there it was. You see that they just disappeared after a while and now I can enter another button. And I did. So that's the same button twice. I think it'll be fine. I don't think that means double quick, double click. Um, and that's a way you can actually set two buttons. Let's say you want two buttons to do the same thing. So you can write A, you know, RP1A or RP1B to do the same thing. So we set that button. Let's go down to left. Let's hold down A. And I'm gonna click, this is joystick two now. See, it says RP2, that's player two. The player two B button will be my Left. I actually did it backwards, but you get the point. I wanted right to be on my right side. It's uh, so I'll just change that. But this should work. Yeah, there it goes. Let me wipe this out. We'll go left. I can't for the life of me. They'll figure out why it disqualified these two buttons when I used them before. It was just a total glitch. Anyway, it doesn't matter in this game. What I could probably do, let's say if I really wanted those buttons and I really needed them, I could erase the game and just upload it again. And then it should be fine. So let's return to the main menu. Although, now we'll go into our retro arc again, because we need to get rid of this um, main menu. Oh, 
display main menu off. Once you click off, you have to go back one. So we go back one and now we can click that again. If you press off, go back one and then get out of RetroArch. Let's see what I did. So here we go, left on player one, right on player two. Hey guys, real quick also, I figured out why I thought it was glitching in the main menu. I had this, my L and right trigger, those two buttons that I wanted to use set to right here, which is nothing. It means they're inactive. So if they're inactive, even in the main menu, you can't set them. So that's what I think happened. I kind of, I thought about it for a little bit and I said, you know what, let me look in the retro arc menu and see what those are set to and they were set to nothing. So basically I, uh, you could set them to anything at that point and then you can remap them in the main menu as long as they're active. So I just set them to left and right. Um, if there was no left and right in existence, it would mean nothing. And then you'd have to set it in the main menu. Um, but I already did have the left and right mapped, so it worked right away. So basically now I can use the joystick for left and right or those two buttons, or I can go into the main menu and switch it to anything I want. And just remember, you go back right here, same as on the RetroPie image and save game remap file and you'll be good to go. Oh, and for those of you that have RetroPie, this is how you get into the emulator. Right there. And if you go too far, just click cancel. This is where you wanna be. So select default emulator for arcade. So any, all your arcade games, all your main, main games, that's the default emulator. So if this was set to nothing different, it would play on this emulator. Now you can go here, click your A button, and these are all the different available emulators. You can click on one, then press OK. I'm gonna click cancel, I forgot which one it was. I don't wanna go through all them. But let's say you clicked OK, then it'll take you back to this screen and you can press press launch. Or if you click the wrong one or whatever, just press exit without launching. And now you're back in the home screen. And let's say you picked one that didn't work, it would just shoot you back into this screen. When you see this screen, just press A again. And there you are. Sometimes you have to click it a few times if you don't catch it on time. And that's how you get into those emulators. So RetroPie has a lot more options for MAME emulators than Batocera does. Maybe the newer versions of Batocera will have more, or maybe they'll have more compatible games, but in RetroArch, I can pretty much make any game work.